Hi, so here we're trying to solve a problem asking us to find the equation of a line when we're given two points that the line passes through. So where do we start? Well, if you're more experienced with this, you could draw a graph and you would see that the graph of this, you know, goes through zero, negative four and two, negative four, and that it's a straight line. Oh, that's not a very straight line. And that it's a straight line, you know, horizontal. Uh, down at y equals negative four. So your answer is just y equals negative four. But, you know, maybe you're not, you know, that's a spoiler. Uh, maybe you're not, you know, quite at that point yet. What is a way that you could approach every problem like this? You know, maybe if the line has some slope or something, but just one spoiler alert won't have any slope, or at least it'll have a slope of zero. <clears throat> well, how are you supposed to figure this out if you don't, you know? So, I, I understand maybe there's a hesitation to <clears throat> to not want to remember every formula that you see, um, but the formulas are there for your benefit. Mathematicians don't just make formulas to try to confuse students by seeing how many variables they can cram into your head. Um, they're, they're a tool. Um, you might be familiar with y equals mx plus b. That's y, um, y intercept formula. Um, but the kind of you know, the, 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 the biggest, you know, the, the, the tool, like your multi-tool, the one that will work for every problem like this is point slope form. This is one you should commit to memory because you can get y-intercept form from this. Um, but this is the one we're going to be using. So we'll just plug in, let's see if this is one and this is two, um, you know, this is like coordinate one, this is coordinate two. We'll just plug one of them in. We'll plug coordinate one into uh, point slope form and see what happens. So the y doesn't get changed y1, you fill in with your y1, in this case that's negative 4, equals m, well, we don't know m yet, but we'll figure that out in a second using the slope formula, times x, and again we don't change that one, minus x1, which in this case is 0. It should be a times sign. There we go. Um, and so we'll simplify this a little bit. This is, uh, whoops, y minus negative 4 is plus 4, equals m times x. And if you actually wanted to put this into um, y-intercept form, you would just subtract a negative 4. This is why I say you should just start from point slope form, because you can get y equals mx plus b from here. Um, but at this point, we need to figure out what m is. And m, your slope, is just rise over run, right? How fast are you going up compared to how fast are you going side to side? And so here we're going to use both y2 and y1, so let's just plug them in. Negative 4 minus negative 4 on the top, that's y2 minus y1, y2 minus y1, divided by 2 minus 0. And again, negative 4 minus negative 4 is going to equal 0 over 2. And remember, we're allowed to do 0 over something, just not the other way around. Um, so this means that m is equal to 0. And so now we're going to finish our point slope form here. So y plus 4 equals 0 times x, or 0. And this tells us that our formula should now sit at y equals negative 4, which is our answer. All right, we have y all alone on one side, some amount of x on the other side, in this case it's 0, and some amount of uh, constant on the right side, in this case it's negative 4. And there is your in-depth answer.